Hey guys, John dies again with Chrisfield Computers on another session of TechBench. Today we're going to talk about the Wi-Fi problem that everybody on Windows 10 has been having. Uh, this update here, which uh, is well, it's uh, a cumulative update, which means it's a, a package of a bunch of other stuff, and this updates the previously released update so there was one prior to this that was out there that this was supposed to fix but apparently it didn't um, I don't see anywhere in here that it's supposed to knock out your Wi-Fi or anything but this is the update that is uh, apparently killing the internet for everybody you'll even see here at the tar top if you're experiencing issues with connecting to the internet restart your PC I'm not admitting they broke it, but that's a pretty good show up, a, a, a show of information that they know something's going on. Um, even places like TechWorm over here reporting on it and so on. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's obviously something going on. So we're going to show you the commands that it takes to fix this. Um, pretty simple as far as getting it fixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our keyboard, and what I want you to do is hit the Windows key right there in between the control and alt key we're gonna tap that and when we tap that your screen is going to come up with the start menu um, once you do that just go ahead and start typing the letters CMD and that's gonna bring up the command prompt that we're gonna right click on run as administrator we're gonna choose yes we want to give it permissions and then you're gonna come up with this black screen very simple commands to reset the windsock and IP information. We're going to do net sh, all one word, space windsock, space reset. Once we do that, it's going to say it's successfully reset. Hopefully, if it doesn't, you might have bigger problems. Don't restart the computer just yet. We're going to do one more net sh, int, ip, reset. And this is going to reset all your IP, uh, your, your IP information. Um, good thing is, is it goes through okay all the way to the last one. It says it failed, but don't worry. It still is going to fix your problem. From here, we have to, it says restart there. We are going to restart the computer at that point. Uh, but it's simple enough that you've already solved the problem after you do that restart. Um, there is another way that, let me open this command window back up real quick. And you could reset some of the information um, some of the time by going to IP config release it'll release the information and then IP config slash renew Oop, you gotta type it right renew doesn't tell me that it can't get anything sometimes that'll work but usually if you if you've had to reset everything it's it's not necessarily gonna gonna help you out um, I might be able to get to a web page here might not yep it's gonna take me in so you know it, it's already reset now I did this on a working computer I didn't have any broke ones with all my software installed on it so hopefully this helps you guys out uh, go ahead and like and subscribe and uh, you know if there's anything else we can help you with go ahead and shoot me a message and we'll see what we can do for you Y'all have a great day, great weekend, and have a Merry Christmas.